Hello, this is Domenico with Easynomics, and we're going to work on a paper three calculation for theory of the firm microeconomics. Let's first take a look at the question, and then I'll give you some background on how I developed this question, and then we will practice tackling the question. This is the question we're going to look at in this video. Uh, the 2023 UEFA Champions League final, which took place at the Ataturk Olympic Stadium. We have 80,000 tickets that were available for this match. And the figure below illustrates our demand curve for uh, this particular match. On the y-axis, we're measuring price per ticket, going from zero to $1,000 per ticket. And for the quantity of demand illustrated on the x-axis, going from zero to 200, that's illustrated, but we'll assume that there was 160,000 people interested in attending this match if the price was zero. That's an assumption. When I looked at some of the price data for this match, we can see that there was four categories for attending the match. Category four was the cheapest at $75 per ticket. Category three, $195 per ticket. Category two, $530 per ticket. And then category one, $747 per ticket. This took place again. This was the 2023 UEFA Champions League final, Manchester City, Manchester City versus Inter Milan at the Ataturk Stadium. And the stadium capacity is about 74,000 with a record attendance of 80,000. And I think for this particular game, there was about 75,000 people in attendance approximately. So again, let's look at this question. So here we have this downward sloping demand curve. And we can see it's downward sloping because as we can see with the price data, we had a very high price, close to about $800. We can assume that there was a lower quantity of demand with less people having the disposable income to spend $800 on a ticket. And then we had the cheapest ticket at $75 and we can assume that there's a higher quantity of demand for that cheaper price range. Thus, the collective number of prices, the four categories illustrates this downward sloping demand curve. I'm going to label this D1. That's our demand curve. And it's asking us to draw and label the margin revenue curve for the Champions League final on this figure. So you can pause the video and think about how would you illustrate that? What would that look like? Go ahead and pause the video now. Okay, so what would your answer have been if that was a question that you got on the test? Well, we need some background knowledge to know what to do for that particular question. There's another video, which I'll have linked below in the video notes, that illustrates that we have a downward sloping demand curve, and this is part of the higher level topics for IB economics, microeconomics. And that demand curve is equal to our average revenue curve, which is equal to essentially price, also equal to marginal benefit. And we see that the marginal revenue curve hits zero when the PED value of the demand curve is one. That's the unit elastic value of the demand curve. Left of that point is elastic, PED is greater than one, and to the right of that point, PED is inelastic. So all higher level students should know that every downward sloping demand curve has an inelastic and elastic portion to their demand curve. Again, when MR hits zero, PED equals one, and if we were going to illustrate the total revenue function, which is this parabola, the total revenue function would be at maximum where MR equals zero. So revenue maximization takes place when MR hits zero. So going back, here we have that demand curve. So we should be knowledgeable that halfway across the demand curve is where the marginal revenue curve is going to hit zero. So let's make some notes here. So we have a quantity of demand at a price of zero at price equal to zero. The quantity of demand is equal to 160. Let's be mindful of the units, 1,000. 160,000 tickets is the level of demand at that price. Let's figure out what's the halfway point. Well, let's take 160,000, divide that by two, and halfway across that demand curve is at 80,000 units or tickets. So we're going to mark that point here. And that's where the marginal revenue curve should hit zero. So I'm going to go ahead and illustrate that. So marginal revenue will be hitting 
zero or 80,000 tickets at that point. So that is me answering this question. Draw and label the margin revenue curve for the Champions League final on the figure. So I'll label that marginal revenue curve. I'll go ahead and label that one. I'm also going to be mindful, even though the question doesn't ask me this, I'm going to keep in mind that the demand curve is equal to the average revenue. Demand is also equal to marginal benefit. Okay, so that's all kind of background knowledge. Great, so I've answered that first question. I've drawn the marginal revenue curve. Part B asks us to calculate the maximum revenue that can be earned from selling tickets for the match. So I'll pause this video and go ahead and calculate that question. We'll check your workings. Pause the video now. All right, so maximum revenue occurs or revenue maximization. Revenue maximization. Occurs where MR, or should I make, this occurs where the marginal revenue curve equals zero. So the rule for revenue maximization is where MR equals zero. So that sits the quantity here. Perfect. Again, going back to that video, which will be linked, we can see that where MR hits zero, PED equals one, total revenue function is at max. Okay. So revenue maximization, MR equals zero. We can also note that the PED value on the demand curve is equal to one. That is the unit elastic portion of the demand curve. So let's draw that. So we're gonna go from this quantity of 80,000 up to our demand curve. And then we notice that the price is 500. Again, at this point, PED equals one. To the left of that point, all along here, PED is greater than one. That means that's the elastic portion. And then from here downward, that's the inelastic portion. PED is less than one. That's just kind of review. So let's go back to the question. Calculate the maximum amount of revenue that could be earned at that point. So here we have total revenue would be equal to price times quantity. Total revenue at 80,000 would be where total revenue would be at maximum. So total revenue would be equal to a price of $500 per ticket times a quantity of 80,000. We plug that into our calculator and we get an answer of 40 million. You can also write on the exam 40 million, either one would be accepted and thus we've answered that question. Again, we're not assuming price discrimination. We're not pricing uh, to some consumers at $800 and other consumers at $500 and other consumers at 75. We're pricing all tickets at 500 with a quantity of demand at 80,000. If we could achieve that, the total revenue being gained would be $40 million for that particular match. If you have any questions, feel free to comment those questions below and don't forget to subscribe and to like. There'll be a part two to this video looking at two additional questions that can relate to this type of um, uh, model illustrated on a paper three. All right, thank you and that's it.